The Bank of Latvia Latvian, Banka is the central bank of Latvia. It is one of the key public institutions and carries out economic functions as prescribed by law. It was established in 1922. The principal objective of the Bank of Latvia is to regulate currency in circulation by implementing monetary policy to maintain price stability in Latvia. Until 31 December 2013, the bank was responsible for issuing the former Latvian currency, the LOTS. The Bank of Latvia administration is located in Riga. The fiscal year for the bank begins on 1 January and ends on 31 December. History On September 7, 1922, the Constitutional Assembly adopted the law on the establishment of the Bank of Latvia. The Bank of Latvia was granted emission rights. The bank's interim statutes were approved on September 19, 1922, with the decision of the Cabinet of Ministers, and its initial capital was 10 million lots. On April 24, 1923, Saima approved the Statute of the Bank of Latvia, signed by President Janis Kaxte on 2 July. The bank was headed by a council and board. The council consisted of a chairman, a deputy, and eleven members, but the board included a director general, his deputy, and three directors. On June 17, 1940, Latvia was occupied and was incorporated into the USSR on August 5. On July 25, the law on the nationalization of banks and large industrial enterprises was adopted. After the Second World War, both money emission and the Treasury's functions were performed by the USSR State Bank, but the money system of the Latvian SSR was under its full control. On March 2, 1990, the Latvian SSR Supreme Council passed the law, "...on banks", and the decision, "...on the Bank of Latvia". It determined that the Bank of Latvia, a local central bank, was established actually, renewed an independent state bank, a money issuing center, a central bank in relation to commercial banks, an organizer of the execution of the state budget and a monetary policy regulator. However, only after the declaration of 4 May 1990 on the restoration of independence of the Republic of Latvia and the collapse of the USSR with the decision of the Republic of Latvia Supreme Council of 3 September 1991, "...on the reorganization of banking institutions in the territory of the Republic of Latvia", the Bank of Latvia became the only central and issuing bank. It took over the ownership and structure of the USSR banks, Latvija's Republikanisko Banku and other state credit institutions. On March 4, 1992, the Supreme Council of the Republic of Latvia passed the law, "...on the acquisition of the Bank of Latvia established in 1922". The Bank of Latvia's status as the central bank of the country and the issue bank was definitively consolidated by the laws of the Republic of Latvia, "...on banks", and on the Bank of Latvia", adopted on May 19, 1992. For the first time in Latvia, the independence of the National Central Bank from the government policy was ensured through legislation. The law, "...on the Bank of Latvia", did not envisage its commercial activities, therefore, a decision was taken on the restructuring and privatization of 49 Bank of Latvia branches. Monetary policy strategy and exchange rate policy Like most central banks of the world, the main goal of the Bank of Latvia is to provide inflation at a certain level. After joining the European Union (EU) until its membership in the Economic and Monetary Union (EMU), the Bank of Latvia was able to pursue its monetary policy, provided that it is in line with the common EU interests, does not harm the development of other EU member states, and contributes to economic stability. Membership in the EU also envisages joining EMU and the euro. After joining the EU, Latvia had to demonstrate its ability to meet the EMU accession criteria. One of these criteria was the two-year membership of the exchange rate mechanism II, ERM II. Latvia joined it on May 2, 2005. ERM II means that at least two years before the euro changeover, the lots had been pegged to euro and the exchange rate of the lots against the euro may fluctuate by no more than plus or minus 15% against the lots pegging rate in euro. In order to achieve its main goal, as well as successfully entering the EMU, the Bank of Latvia implemented a fixed exchange rate strategy 1 euro. 
equals L0.702804. Fluctuations around the fixed coupling rate are possible within plus or minus 1%. The Bank of Latvia had been implementing the LOTS attraction policy since February 1994, when the LOTS was pegged to the SDR basket of currencies. The LOTS was pegged to the euro on January 1, 2005. Also, at the beginning of 2006 and 2007, the Bank of Latvia operated a refinancing rate instrument, a rate for travel. In a situation where banks do not intend to actively use the instruments offered by the Bank of Latvia, the increase of the refinancing rate has a more signaling function. Management The Bank of Latvia is managed by the Bank's Board and Management Board. The council consists of eight people, the president of the bank, his deputy and six members of the council. The bank's supervisory council is managed by the president of the Bank of Latvia. The governing council of the Bank of Latvia takes decisions on behalf of the Bank of Latvia, for the practical work and operational management of the Bank of Latvia, the bank council establishes a permanent board of six people. The bank's president approves the structure of the Bank of Latvia, recruits and dismisses the Bank of Latvia's employees. The presidents of the Bank of Latvia: Arturs Grodan, the 26th of March 1990, the 30th of July 1990; Pavel Sachs, the 31st of July 1990, the 9th of March 1991; Inas Reps, the 9th of March 1991, the 20th of December 2001. Ilmars Rimsevics 21.12 2001 current topic see also economy of latvia latvian lots european central bank latvia and the euro